Hello friends, today we're going to access and erase content using bracket notation. The fundamental feature of any data structure is of course the ability to not only store data but uh, to be able to retrieve the data on command. So now that we've learned how to create an array, let's begin to think about how we can access that array's information. When we define a simple array as seen below, there are three items in it. Here we've got our array with a string of A and a string of B and a string of C all held within the array. In, in an array, each array item has an index. This index doubles as the position of the item in the array and how you reference it. However, it is important to note that JavaScript always uh, JavaScript arrays are zero index, meaning that the first element of the array is actually the zeroth position, not the first. In order to retrieve an element from an array, uh, we can enclose an index in brackets and append it to the end of the array, or more commonly called to a variable which references an array object. This is known as bracket notation. For example, if we want to retrieve A from our array, we will assign it to a variable and we can do so with the following code. So we say we're letting our variable equal our array at position zero. Um, so now our variable will be equal to A. In addition to accessing, because it's at zero position, so we're going through here, this is a zero, this is a one, and then this is two. In addition to accessing the value associated with the index, you can also set an index to an array, to a value using the same notation. So if we set make our array equal not b anymore, so array at position one, now our array has changed. So instead of having a, b, c, it has a, not b anymore, and c. So using bracket notation, we have now reset the uh, item at index one from B and not B anymore. In order to complete this challenge, set the second position, or the place at index one of my array to anything you want besides B. Um, so yeah, we're console logging it out here. We wanna make this one change because this is position uh, one. This is zero, one, two, three. And so we wanna change B. Um, so what we can do is we can just say uh, my array at position one is equal to a useful program. And now useful programming is in there. And that should pass the tests. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.